What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm looking at three free agents that the Lions must avoid this offseason. Let's get it started. Number one, Happy offseason, everybody. We know the Super Bowl just ended yesterday, and now it's offseason time. So we're looking at all these free agents. Everybody's getting excited, but in this video, I'm giving you three free agents that you really shouldn't get excited about, and uh, three guys the Lions should just avoid at all costs, you know, just move on. Now, one of these guys I actually had on a list about a month ago of players that I thought we should sign. I'm sorry. I'm going against that today, and I'm going to tell you why. So let's just get this thing started. Coming in number three is a guy that I thought we should have signed a while ago, but now I'm completely against that after looking a little bit deeper than just thinking of his name, and that is Melvin Gordon. Okay, Melvin Gordon is not the guy that we should go get. Okay, Melvin Gordon, in my head, made a lot of sense. You're getting a very talented running back that we really haven't had before, okay, in a long time. on Johnson just didn't seem like that guy to me. At least he's somewhat healthy. And, uh, yeah, it'd be really nice to see a really good playmaker back there. But... As I looked a little bit deeper, maybe he's not that playmaker that I thought he was. He only has one season in his entire career where he averaged over four yards per carry. That's not good. Okay, Karrion Johnson averaged over five yards per carry. And I don't think he's a great running back. I think he's solid when he's healthy, but I don't think he's great. Melvin Gordon, nah. Now, keep in mind, he was on a bad team. Let me just say that. But at the same time, we're not a very good team either. Okay, our offensive line is not that good. So he's going to be going from a bad offensive line to most likely a bad offensive line. And one, you know, this is probably the biggest reason I would stay away here. Gordon's going to want a big price, okay? He had a holdout. He wants a big contract. Someone's probably going to give it to him. It shouldn't be us. Why? Let's take that money. And instead of giving it to a running back to go behind a bad offensive line, Let's take that money and improve the offensive line and then just get some depth at running back. If you can improve the offensive line, it helps out your passing and rushing attack instead of just one thing, and you also can then just add some depth. We still have some talented players if they can be healthy. Offensive line is automatically a need because we need to protect Stafford anyway, so what's the point of going to get a big, expensive running back? Melvin Gordon doesn't make any sense to me. Austin Eckler outplayed him when he started, and keep in mind this. Karen Johnson, Ty Johnson, and Bo Scarborough all averaged more yards after contact. Yeah. No, thank you. Melvin Gordon, cool name, cool thought. If he's on a super cheap contract and whatever, but it won't happen. He's going to want a big deal. So, uh, no, thank you. Now, hopping in number two is a guy that used to be a fan favorite in Detroit. And it's super unfortunate that um, he's on this list. That isn't Adonikin Sue. I'm sorry, guys. I know some of y'all want to see Sue, but I just don't think it makes sense. Now, there is an exception for Adonikin Sue. If he takes basically like a veteran's minimum, he takes like nothing for another year just to come back to Detroit. Absolutely. Bring him back. I would love to see him in another jersey, even if he didn't do anything. But it has to be on a cheap contract because otherwise we need guys that can go make plays because uh, that's what we're missing. And the Donna Kitsu, who will be 34 by dying next year, starts, and he also was paid $9.3 million for just a one-year deal? No, thank you. He has... I don't know what I'm going for here. He's just an old lineman that's getting paid way too much money. Let me just say that. Now, again, if it's on a cheap veteran's minimum contract, sure, bring him back. It would be really cool to see. Maybe he makes a big sack. Everybody loses their mind. Sue, you know, and that would be awesome. But otherwise, it doesn't make any sense to me. He's probably not going to get $9 million again for one year after his pro football focus grade drop, drop 10 points and stuff like that. But, you know, he's probably going to get somewhere around five, and I still think that's way too much for us. We can take that and spend it elsewhere. Give it, give it to Danny Amendola, who's still producing. Okay, he went from an 80 pro football focus grade to a 69. Now, that's not bad, honestly, because when you look at who number one is, you're going to be like, wow. Number one's just terrible. But at the same time, I just want to do it unless it's on a cheap contract. But man, I would love to have Sisu in another Lions jersey. That would be pretty cool. And finally, coming in number one is Ashawn Robinson. Now, he was with the Detroit Lions. He's set to become a free agent. But my goodness, please don't sign this guy back. Please, whatever you do. The argument that can be made to sign him back is that he's young and he's with the Detroit Lions, so he's familiar. And he was their second round pick. Otherwise, doesn't make any sense. Look, Ashawn Robinson just hasn't got it done. It's that simple. Five sacks and 14 quarterback hits in four years. You can't pay that more money. Come on, man. You can't give him more money. His pro football focus grade was a 56. The Donican Sues was a 69.7. A 56? Come on, dog. At your age, that's not acceptable. Okay, he was our second defensive tackle for a while with Damon Harrison when he came in. And, man, over the four years, we just haven't seen it. You know, 2018 was in bad. Maybe his best season. 2019, we saw him drop off again. Maybe he'll go somewhere else, find different scenery, and be successful and good for him and also good for us for moving on and not spending more money on a guy that just hasn't produced with us. I wish him the best, and hopefully he goes out and balls somewhere else because that'd be awesome for him. But for us, it just isn't working out. Maybe it's the wrong scheme fit. It's something. It, it just isn't it. It's not the guy, okay? You can take your money. Go get someone else. This is his first main contract that he's going to get, so he's going to look for solid money. I don't know if he'll get it because production's not there, but... It should not be us that gives it to him. Ashawn Robinson, you come at number one. So there you go. Those are three players I think we must avoid at all costs this offseason when it comes to free agency. Let me know your thoughts, comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.